Bojíte se? Výborně. Já jsem hejkal a vítám vás v temnotách. You're back! Oui! I have returned! Hello again! Hello again, monsieur! Well, I wasn't expecting to see you back here again. No! Well, it is a strange thing, but I am here on duty. On duty? But you're just sitting there drinking wine. No! I am not just drinking wine. I am under cover. I must be missing something. You're in uniform. Precisely, monsieur. My cover is that of an indolent, wine-guzzling police officer. You've got me convinced. Merci. But in re reality, my every muscle is poised, every nerve honed. I am drawn tight, ready to pounce. Pazang! Who or what were you planning to pazang on? You must have heard, m monsieur, of the terror that is gripping Paris. You mean the killings? Oh, at last, someone's taken action. <laughs> People die every day. No, no, I am on the trail of Sewer Jacques. I, uh... Who? Sewer Jacques. The terror of the subterranean city. He pops up here, he pops up there. The cops, they seek him everywhere. Is he so hush or beneath the neck? That damned elusive Sir Jack. Bravo, that's very good. Merci. I was up half the night writing that. Who is this Sewer Jacques character, anyway? Ah, if we but knew that, we could have him in custody in an hour. But he is cunning. To despoil the sewers of our fair city, he has co committed many deceptions. He has pretended to be a police officer and deluded a poor war veteran. Uh-oh. He has pretended to be a jongleur. Wow, is that the time? And an American tourist. What nationality are you, monsieur? Canadian. Well, uh, gotta go now. See ya. Well, it's not everyone who can say they started an urban myth. Uh, excuse me, Father. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all, Monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. How long have you worked here? Hardly work, Monsieur. This is a calling. I have been helping Father Flambert for nearly six months now. I guess you don't know much about the history of this church, then. Just a little. You've got quite a shine on that candlestick. Ah, oui. Anything less than best would be an insult to the Almighty. I guess so. I never thought of it like that. What do you know about the Knights Templar? You have come to the right place, if that is your interest. Many of them were executed in the square outside. It was a disgrace to France. Well, the Pope was right behind it, though. 
Clement V was a man of mammon, not of God. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? You think so? It is hard to be sure what happened. It is so long ago. What do you make of this chalice? It uh, certainly looks very old. About as old as this church, I think. There seems to be an engraving on it. Yeah? What does it say? I do not know. It is very tarnished. With your permission, uh, I could try polishing it. Uh, I promise I will be very careful. That'd be very good of you. This uh, shouldn't take very long. Feel free to look around. Okay, thanks. The statue had any secrets. It was concealing them pretty well. A statue of a knight holding a staff and a scroll. Per disciplinum meum lux videbis. A bit of a stained glass window. Wow! Hoping for a big insight while squinting through a hunk of statuary had been pretty optimistic, I guess. The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Hey! A Knight Templar burning at the stake, and a date. Let me see. M, C, 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 X, I, V. That's 1314. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. A knight there in the company of his fellows. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. Just think, there's a dead guy under there. I was surprised Philip LeBel had left this place alone. Carrying all that armor around must have been hard work. A stone knight lay in full stone armor, blank eyes looking at the ceiling. The second stone knight in a row of four lay on the church floor. A stone knight lay on the church floor. waiting in prayer for the Judgment Day. A stone knight lay at the end of a row of four. I wondered if this guy had died in combat. Biblical references engraved into the tomb edge to guide his way to the next world. I guess. I didn't have time to sit around.
Hello again, Father. Hey, thanks! It is my pleasure, Monsieur. What was the writing on the chalice? It was not writing. Uh, my mistake. It was a coat of arms. The remarkable thing is that it seems very familiar. Yeah? Oui. I think I have seen it on that wall tomb in the far corner. That winged horse is quite distinctive. Did you know that the center window conceals an image of a man burning at the stake? The burning man? What, you knew? That there was a hidden image? No. But the church has a reputation for being haunted. Many times, people have claimed to have seen a burning man in the window. But when others, they look, there is nothing. Perhaps the light has to be just so for the figure to appear. Yeah, or maybe you need a special lens. Catch you later. Au revoir, monsieur. Now that my attention had been drawn to it, there was no mistake. There was no name on it. But the coat of arms was undeniably the Pegasus of the De Vasconcellos family. I'd found the last resting place of Don Carlos. My eye was drawn to the biblical references carved into the edge of the tomb. Hey, maybe these biblical references mean something. Psalms 32.7, John 4.11. Corinthians 1, 4, 5, and just one more, Psalms 22, 21. I may not be perfect, but I've got a memory like a steel trap. The chalice had led me to these inscriptions, but it looked like a happy coincidence to me. After all, the de Vasconcellos arms were already on the manuscript. Nope, I was still convinced that the chalice had some significance all of its own. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. While I was in Syria, I discovered a strange pagan statue. It was like a head with three bearded faces. Horrible. That sounds as if it could be Baphomet, the idol described by the Templars. The poor Knights of Christ had an idol that looked like that? Allegedly. The description of the idol came from the evidence extracted by the Inquisition. Mind you, not one statue or idol was ever found on Templar property. Until now, that is. Just last month, a statue of Baphomet was unearthed right here in Paris. Where? At the Institut Hermétique de Naval. The statue is beneath the foundations. It was discovered by some workmen while renovating the building. Can you tell me any more about the statue of Baphomet? It's a fearful image, even now. A bearded head. The base of the statue is carved with Templar symbols. One of the workmen noticed a curious stain at the base. He claimed it looked like blood. Blood? 
That's right. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Ahoj, 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 to je vás tady hry. Broken Sword, The Shadow, The Templars a jdeme kameru. Kupávek, vlastně pokračujem. Já nevím, prostě už jsem si na to zvyknul, že vždycky zapnem ta znamená, to vždycky řeknu na v hry a představím se. Ani to nebudu vystřihávat, je to prostě takové. Nevím, jsem takový prostě. Celkově. Takový. I couldn't imagine what I'd achieved by turning the dial. A thermostat mm -hmm. was mounted over a radiator. The radiator was pumping out heat as the thermostat was cranked right over to full. No wonder it was warm in here, even with the door open to the chill of fall. Hi? Uh, excuse me? Oui? So, what exactly are you doing here? I'm guarding. You expect to find me sharing sheep? Take it easy. I just didn't mm -hmm. realize you were a guard. I'd like to know what you're guarding, please. That's a secret. It wouldn't happen to be an archaeological site, would it? Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. Then why ask? I had a feeling this was no normal hole in the ground. It sure is hot in here. I have to have the door open to allow the workmen access, so why not? I turn the heat up. You could wrap up warm. I have my gloves if it gets cold, but why bother when it's warm okay. anyway? What do you know about the Knights Templar? There was a long pause during which the guard said nothing. Then he said... Nothing. Nothing at all? Is this a test? What, like a history pop test? No, like a... Test? Okay, yes, it's a test. Then I know absolutely nothing about the Templars. The guard was being amazingly evasive. It was going to take more than goodwill to get past okay. him. Talk to you later. There was a closed door with toilet scratched into the cheap veneer. That door's locked, monsieur. Hi again. What is it? Trying to get into a locked washroom. I had the strongest feeling of deja vu. I'd like to use the washroom, but the door's locked. Oh, that's no problem. You can have the key. Thanks. Oh. Here's the keys. Thanks. Merci, monsieur. I need to use the uh, toilet again. Again? Already? I have this problem. <laughs> How technical do you want me to get? Hmm, never mind. Here's the key. Talk to you later. Tak. Au revoir, monsieur. Užijeme pořádně. A filthy wash basin hung on the wall. Vezmu tady teda tohleto mídlo. A obtisknu do něj klíč, který potřebuju. I made an impression of the big key and the cake of soap. Ah, put them down, prostě jednoduše. Sandro. I carefully sprinkled the plaster into the soap mold I'd made of the key. Ah, put them on the chair. Hey, should we put them on the chair? Oh, так.
Well, it had taken a while, but I had made myself a completely unconvincing plaster key. Way too fragile to use in a lock. I'd have to substitute it for the real one. Trouble was, it looked like plaster and not metal. Then again, that plaster statue in Syria hadn't looked like stone until I'd been a bit artful with it. Maybe I could improve the key as well. Yes, we can the key as well. What is it? Here's the keys. Thanks. Merci, monsieur. Merci pour que tu te gagnes que nahoru. Excuse me, could you help me? What is it? I've got a few questions. What does the word Templar suggest to you? Templar? Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. You're doing a fine job. Merci. I have my professional pride. I don't think I've ever seen a Galois smoke so stylishly. It's a natural talent. I'm being sarcastic. Hmm. I'm being indifferent. You're very good at that as well. Merci. Vive l'indifférence. So, what are you doing here? I am having my break. Yeah, I mean, when you finish your break. Oh, when I finish my break? An interesting concept, monsieur. You'll probably need to think about it. I could have another cigarette while I consider. Perhaps tomorrow <laughs> too? Okay, let me put things differently. What were you hired to do here? I was hired to keep the archaeological dig in the basement of this building clear of debris and to touch up damage to the door frames with my little pot of paint. It's a very responsible job. Unfortunately, I'm not a very <laughs> responsible person. <laughs> so what do you know about the excavation? I know they won't let me in to do my job. I would complain to my union, but tell uh, you couldn't be bothered to join. Right. Tell you what, though. I'm surprised at the sort of people interested in this uh, excavation. Let's see. What's unusual about the visitors to the excavation? <laughs> None of them look like archaeologists to me. Do you know what an archaeologist looks like? Three-piece suits, crocodile-eyed attaché cases, Rolex oyster. But no archaeologist dresses like that. Quite right, monsieur, quite right. So, who are they? Who cares as long as they pay me? Yeah. Yes. Have you seen this man before? Yes, he asked me a lot of questions, just like you. Be seeing you. Why, monsieur? Tak, ja teď tam zkusím namočit ten klíč. Harry God. Chci namočit ten... Jo, ti. Ještě mě. Prostě jenom namoč klíč. Hey, monsieur! Get away from my paint pot! OK. I should think so. Meddling with a man's paint pot. Puh! Tak to tam jdu a zkusme Niko. Jestli by nám nějak nepomohla. Můžeme si zavolat Joe Šefiku, když se takový zajíždí a ten dveře, co? Vypadáte. Do you mind if I use the phone? Be my guest? I'm paid to guard this door. The phone can look after itself. Super. Kuller! Hi, Nico. It's me. I'm at the excavation site. Hi, George. What's happening? I'm at the excavation, but they won't let me in. Damn! We need to know what's in there. Don't worry. I've got a scheme. I'm going to need your help, though. Okay. What do you want me to do? I want you to keep somebody on the phone for a while. Who? A painter. I need to get at his pot. Oh, okay. Stay on the line. I'll go and get him. 
Tak jo. Na kroči se zbavíme, nakřeme si klíč a bude hotová. Nakřeme si klíč a ať už jsme pryč. Hi, it's me again. What now? You've got a phone call. For me? Are you certain? It's a woman. She sounded hot. What woman? She must be mistaken, monsieur. Well, she asked for that hunk of a man with the nicotine fingers and his ass hanging out of his pants. Certainly sounds like me. Stand back. It wouldn't do to keep the lady from uh, her hunk. Super, a já tady mezi těmi fanatřů klíč. Jo, ale už nemáme klíč, teda ten tamten, tak. Mám taky pocit, že ho budu muset se ještě nechat usušit, ale to nechci jako. Well, monsieur, what a strange woman. She was all over me and then suddenly, nothing but abuse. Really? Why, abuse. Ah, well, I have a cigarette to finish. And monsieur, if she calls again, I am not available. Thank you. Hi again. What is it? I need to use the uh, toilet again. Again? Already? I have this problem. <laughs> How technical do you want me to get? Hmm, never mind. Here's the key. Talk to you later. Au revoir, monsieur. I turned the heating off. Tak jo, vypnul jsme to pení a teď to tam připravím pořádně. Co mám šelkavice a... Já ty klíče můžu zatím tak hezky prohodit. Quickly and without fuss, I swapped the fake key for the real thing. Super, tak. Už má rukavice, takže už mu tady jenom můžu dát. Klíče a jsem v klidu. What is it? I held my breath and hoped that he wouldn't notice the substitution. Here's the keys. Uh, thanks. Merci, monsieur. Tak jo. Na mě si asi nevším, tak jo, teď zkusím. Já se tady musím ještě zbavit jeho, takže... Hi, Nico. It's me again. I'd guessed. What do you want this time? What did you say to the painter? I shan't repeat it, Josh. Look, I need to get the guard out of the way. Could you call back and ask him to get the painter again? Okay, I'll call back soon. Super. Co se tady bylo? Když jsem tady to hrál. This looked like a good place to watch things develop. Hey, you! It's the phone! Yeah? Who is it? How should I know? What am I? Your social secretary? It's not a chick, is it? Yes, it's a woman. Are you going to answer it? Does she have a warm, sensual voice like molten chocolate? Yes, yes, she has a really sexy voice. Now get a move on. I'm not talking to her. I can see that. You're wasting time talking to me. No, you don't understand. I refuse to talk to her. You refuse? You refuse? I'm wasting valuable time. Don't make me laugh. Your time valuable? You just stand around all day. I have a highly responsible job. Ha. Don't bah, me, you elephantine oaf. My job is important. Impossible. They would have hired somebody competent in that case. 
Meaning what? Instead of which they hired a dismal rent a cop like you. All epaulettes and no brains. Why, you? This looked set to carry on for some time. It was too good an opportunity to miss. But I kind of know. Hijo de Jorge Yoy. Tak jo, tady zase na chvilku přeruším. Ahoj, jsem zpátky a Meru, Georgi, nebudem otálet. Close up. The pattern didn't make any sort of sense. It fanned out around an axis point. A kind of focus to one side. Okay, so she was on the board and pulled him out then. Technically, I thought I was going to do it on the same day, but I said that I was going to do it on the other day. And there it was, decoded by the curves of the chalice. The image of a church. I found out what the chalice was for. You've solved the puzzle? Yeah, there was a distorted picture at the Baphomet site. When I viewed it in the polished surface of the chalice, it changed. What did it show? A picture of a church with a square tower. I guess I'd better return the chalice to the Countess. How are you back, Jules? Yes, now to back in my Rabenza. Když pojďme skupit, tak nemělo být zase tolik věcí, co dělat. Jsme to jenom pár věcíček z tam dělá, tam byly teď spíš jenom rozhovory, jo, takže to taky nevidím jako na nějakou dlouhou dobu. A pak už bude konec hry, proto za, možná tak, já to chci všichni natáhnu co nejdýl, abych pak mohl mít pak vlastně pak poslední part. Dalo by se říct ten poslední, protože to opravdu bude takhle pak, že ten poslední part bude už pak poslední. Huh? I'd been planning to return the chalice anyway, but I hadn't expected the trail to bring me here. The villa de Vasconcelos was as picturesque as ever. The weather was still clear, and Lopez was still watering the damn lawn. I was beginning to suspect that he was surgically attached to that hose. <laughs> Hi there, Lopez. How's tricks? Senor Stobart, how pleasant to see you. You are well. Fine, thanks. Is the Countess in? She is waiting for you. I will show you up. It's okay, I know the way. Senor Stobart, I feel I owe you an apology. No, you don't. I was impolite on our first meeting. Look, Lopez, just forget about it. I came on like a snake oil merchant. I wouldn't have trusted me in your shoes. You do not understand. Finding the chalice has given my lady a new lease of life. It's a marvel. She smiles, she laughs. The tradesmen are saying that she is on Prozac. <sighs> Musím s ní promluvit. Mám z té hry takový jiný pocit, prostě, že už to dohraju, prostě nemám z toho, nechci říct, nemám z toho dobrý pocit, tak nechci říct, že bych se tam měl dobrý pocit, že to dohraju, ale prostě končí etapa, no. Na YouTube, jako by jedna. To je právě jako by ten Broken Sword. Senior Stobart, oh, what a pleasure. Please. Sit down. Hi, Countess. The pleasure's all mine. I've brought back your chalice. Why? You've had it cleaned. Yeah. 
I met an obliging priest with a soft cloth. Have you resolved the Templar mystery? No, not yet. I don't even know what it is I'm after. There are many stories of the knights secreting great wealth away. Whatever. All I know is I don't want the bad guys to get it. Ah, uh, to be young and live in a world of moral absolutes. Hmm. I discovered something amazing with that chalice. In Paris, I found a church where they recognized the coat of arms. I found the tomb of Don Carlos de Vasconcelos. You are sure? There can be no mistake? The coat of arms on the chalice matches the one on the tomb. Incredible. You have my most profound thanks. I must go there as soon as possible. Yeah? Well, I'd be happy to show you the city. There's something else that I discovered carved on Don Carlos's tomb. Biblical references. What are the references, Senor Stobart? Psalms 32.7, Corinthians... I am not a good enough scholar to know the Bible, chapter and verse. I meant, what are the quotations? You know, I forgot to ask the priest. I'll have a look around, if that's okay. My home is your home. I shall remain here. Okay, so let's go to the um... Oh, no, však víte, tam jak jsme, tam jak jsme řešili minulé toho šachovníci, tak tam teď půjdeme. Vás pomám dojem, že bych tam měl jít. Je tam, že jo? Super. Jo, tyč je tady, takže super. Může v návodu právě, že byla tyč změna, takže přemýšlím, že mám zavřít to okno, bych měla zavřít. Tak a dá to na tyč, kapesník. A vlastně mám zapálit, kapesník mám tady zapálit o svíčku. Má se beru Bible hlavně. Tak důležitá teď tohle. No, that was a silly idea. I decided to think things through. Okay, ale já... Já to mám pocit, že to bude tady mám jako nějak zapálit, ale... Že mám pak zapálit tu svíčku na stropě. Mohu v tady tady hlec nahoře, ale... Jo, teď už to hoří, jako podívu. A já to tady zapálím. Tak. Nemusím se líbit svíčky, jako ten vosk a tak. A tam je nějaký klíč, nebo... Ale 
but only for a couple of minutes, some kind of special formulation, I guess, and had yielded up this, a complex shape expertly cut in stone. I figured it was some kind of key. Nejakého jsem zpátky, on budeme tady pokračovat a já právě, že teď mám mít za, za hrabinkou a, a oni vlastně tu, tu bibli, co jsme tam vzali vlastně, jako by dát, protože s ní vlastně bude moc ona pak lépe pracovat. Tak. Dneska bych chtěl teda do, dokončit ještě tady tu část, to Španělsko a pak vlastně tu závěrečnou část si pak už necháme na příště, protože to bude fakt závěr, to bude pak vlastně konec hry už, takže... Takže Hello again, mind if I sit? Please. What does this charred tissue suggest to you? You have pyromaniac <laughs> tendencies? Here's the Bible from the mausoleum. Very well. Let us begin. The first reference. Psalms 32:7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble, thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. My hiding place. Don't get your hopes up too high. This might just be leading us to where we found the chalice. You are right, of course. The next. Okay, John 4.11. John 4.11. Here, the well is deep. The next. Uh, quickly! Okay, okay. Uh, Corinthians 4, 5. Here it is. We'll bring to light the hidden things. Any more? Just one. Psalms again. 22, 21. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorn. The last is confusing. Lions, unicorns. <coughs> I can't guess. Salient points seem to be a hiding place and a deep well. In no sense is the mausoleum a well, Senor Stobart. Is there a well in the grounds? I do not know. I suppose that there must have been once upon a time. Lopez is the man to ask about anything pertaining to the estate. <laughs> What do you make of this? It looks like some sort of key. Where did you get it from? It was buried inside the great candle in the mausoleum. Inside it? What have you done to it? I, uh, lit it. But it is irreplaceable. Listen, the candle was to be lit in case of Moorish attack, right? Well, it burnt down in no time and revealed this key thing. Maybe that was the real purpose of lighting the candle. What are you suggesting? That lighting the candle is the equivalent of break glass in case of emergency. A sentiment must not stand in the way of solving this mystery. You did the right thing. Thank you, Mr. Person. I'll just have another look around. Very well. Pak je tady něco na sebrání. The mirror from Lopez's utility room. Yep, I was still Já looking great. It was just a little utility room with no exit, unless you counted the window, and okay. I didn't. Co tak nějak to vstane návodu, právě, že bylo potřeba ještě to zrcátko. Dobrý, že jsem tady vzal. Tak. 
Так. A. Já jsem si pamatuju, že znovu jsem měl něco hledat. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose around me, so I left it alone. I didn't like the idea of... I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose. Křoví, tak já musím jít do jiný křoví ještě. Podívám po jiném křoví, kde bych ho mohl najít. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, Senor. How can I help you? You must know just about everything that there is to know about this place. See, I have lived my whole life here in the service of the Divas Conchelos. Do you know of a well anywhere around here? A well? See, si, Senor. This used to be a fortified villa. How can you last a siege without water? Great! So where is it? How should I know? The well was covered over in the last century. It was dangerous, you see. And you have no idea where it was? None. It was hidden even before my grandfather's time. Well, you must have a vague idea of where the well is. It must have been in the old house's courtyard. So that would put it around here. Here? Okay. Now, how do we find it? There might be a way. Let me think about it. Any ideas yet? We are looking mm -hmm. for a source of water, see? Yes. For generations, the Spanish country folk have had a secret way of locating water. Even if it is meters beneath the ground. Ah. You're not talking about water dousing, are you? Eh? You know, you get a stick and walk around until the stick twitches and dig there. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, I think most of the planet has. Okay, let's get a stick. Uno momento! It must be a special stick. A Y of hazel. Right. Do you have any hazel trees? See, si. Here! That is Hazel. So the Countess feels that the curse is lifted. I would not put it so strongly. Your discovery of the chalice was proof that the Templars never abandoned the De Vasconcelos. It counts for a great deal with so my lady. What's the story behind the chalice vanishing? When the Inquisition raided, in the absence of Don Carlos, it was believed that they had taken it. Naturally, they denied the charge as they denied taking the children. And naturally, nobody believed them. But they were telling the truth. The chalice was hidden from them. You don't suppose they were telling the truth about the children as well, do you? Madre de Dios! I had not thought of that. But then what happened to them? I don't know. If the Inquisition didn't take them, then who did? You must speak to my lady of these. Count on it. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios, Senor Stoba. No, they must have not seen that. Hold it up. No, because that would be more. I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single usable Y-shaped branch on the whole damn thing. I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe it. There wasn't a single... I went over to find a... I don't believe... There wasn't a single usable... I went over to find a suitable stick. I don't believe... There wasn't a single... I bys běhal z toho barvy, bylo by to jednodušší.
Tak já se tam trošku nevím na tu větvičku, protože teď nevím, kde bych ji měl teda hledat. Hi Lopez, got a minute? Certainly, senor. How can I help you? I can't find any usable branches on that hazel tree. No, que lata. How am I supposed to find the well without a divining rod? I have no idea, senor. Oh, never mind. Catch you later, Lopez. Adios. Hmm, tak to by tady někde právě, já vím, že po návodu by to mělo být tady někde, ale... Aha. I went over to find a suitable stick. Aha! No, I don't know what I'm saying. Hmm, maybe not. Hmm, maybe not. It's too bad at the hour. Too bad. I didn't like the idea of carrying 30 yards of hose. Hi, Lopez. Got a minute? Certainly, senor. Well, I got my divining rod. Now what? Simplicity itself, senor. Hold the wand at the upper ends of the Y. Apply a little tension with your wrists so that the slightest movement of the wand tip is clear and walk slowly and steadily over the area. Sounds easy enough. We'll find this well in no time. Je to potáhnout ty hadice, ne? Že je tam kropí tak. Jo, já myslím, že už tam je vyznačené místo, kde mají kopat, to mi tam dal ten terč. Lopézy. Senior Stobart, you've, you've found something. This is it. This is where we find the secret of the Templars. Hidden here for hundreds of years. Lost from the sight of man. Until now, the mystery is revealed. It's a tin can. I've been walking up and down with a twig in my hands, looking for a tin can. It had water in it. That's what the dowsing stick must have detected. I'd have to check with an archaeologist, but I don't think the Templars left that. In truth, Senor Stobart, the lawn was laid many, many years ago. This can could date back to the Napoleonic Wars. Get rid of it and I'll try it again. Mm -hmm. Lopez threw the can away. It seemed to fall an awfully long way. Bastard, 
The splash at the end confirmed what we both suspected. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It has been here all the time. All those years and nobody found it. Stood in awe for a moment, marveling at the secrets all around us. I could have fallen down that. OK, a tady si jenom, protože uh, jednak si to chci znovu, to, jednak si, jednak si to teď chci znovu. The well had been lost for decades at least. The air was cool after the noon sun, but that's not what gave me goosebumps. I have a really, really bad feeling about this. Tady si jenom. Tohle zase víme jako vždy, pane bože. Tak. Studna. Já jsem spát. Tak jsem zpátky a jdeme. Tak je let. Georgi. Tady je scéna, kdy vlastně můžete umřít, takže doufám, že to udělám dobře. No. From a distance, the lion's head had been impressive. Close up, it was frightening. Hey, one of the fangs is a separate piece. A great stone lion's head with a gaping maw full of fangs. As far as I knew, nobody had cast eyes upon it for centuries as it stood, waiting in the cool shadows. The words of the psalm kept running through my head. Save me from the lion's mouth. I could hear the sound of a lot of stone moving, and I knew I was in danger. You're like, oh, nobody. No, dobrý, že je. <laughs> oh, very funny, you psychos! Senior Stobar! Senior Stobar! Are you all right? It's okay, Lopez, I'm fine! Hey, Susto, mira zdada! You gave me a scare! Nice try, Templars. Tak. Nemám no nic. I wish that I had Leary's flashlight now. It just felt like a pitted stone wall. I'd almost been killed for the sake of a red herring. Okay, tak by šlo by použít tohle, že jo? Zrcátko. A jo. I wish it just... Fíry, I'd almost... No, oh, ten je v Jirsku, kamaráde, to je daleko. Mohl bych udělat tak kolem světla nebo něco? There, in the middle of the door, I could see some kind of socket. It looked like this wasn't quite the dead end it had seemed. Mm -hmm. Můžu tam použít tohle, ne? To je jako klíč. Chceš se Tak jo. Vrátím. Wow. A to řídí. Padám dolů. Ne? Open sesame. Another secret door. Další, další lidé místnost. Oh. Ach, no. Before I left, though, there was one last thing to do. You won't be needing that replacement piece anymore, Countess. I found it with the children. You'll probably want to be alone for a while. I'll be out in the garden with Lopez.
Yo voy construyendo el leche. George, welcome back. Come in, Josh. It's good to see you again. Is it? Sure. What did you find in Spain? Without Andre, we wouldn't have got this far, George. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. The clues led to an underground chamber at the bottom of a well. The Templars had left a tapestry showing a chessboard. The white pieces were vastly outnumbered. There was a stream running across the board, and a Templar knight on a horse. Does it mean anything to you, André? No, nothing. Maybe we should tell André what else you found, Georges. There's a map and a Latin inscription to the west at the edge of the world. Georges found that in a cave in Syria. Yeah, where the assassin almost killed me. Then we've got the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date, 1314. From the window of the church in Montfaucon Square, one of the few places where nobody tried to kill me. Then we have the image of a church that Georges found at the excavation. I don't recall anyone trying to kill you there either, Georges. And finally we have the tapestry in Spain. Did I mention I almost got killed there? Not yet, but I'm sure you're about to. It was only my cat-like reflexes that saved me from certain death. Cat-like reflexes, eh? And while I was risking life and limb, where were you, Andre? Getting your glasses fogged up over an Etruscan vase? That's enough, boys. Can we get back to saving the world? Of course. My apologies. He started it. <laughs> Well, uh, the Latin phrase are the words of Julius Caesar. He was describing the island of Britain. Are you sure? The map didn't look much like Britain. How come Caesar described Britain as being at the edge of the world? To the Romans, the Mediterranean was the center of the universe. Britain was a remote, unfriendly place inhabited by blue-painted savages. It hasn't changed much. Well, they've stopped painting themselves blue. Except when they go to a football match. They used an extract from a plant called Woad, Isetis tinctoria. The Scots were using it until fairly recently in the wars with the English. Fairly recently? I don't recall the Scots being at war with the English. How recently are you talking about? I believe William Wallace's men used it in the 13th century. They might well have been using it as late as... Uh, you can't remember, can you? 1314. Ah, we're back onto that, are we? André, what is it? What do you mean? 1314 in Scotland. The Battle of Bannockburn. That would explain the stream mm -hmm. on the chessboard. That's what a burn is. Right, André? As in Bannockburn? Right, George. And it gets better. Tradition has it that the Scots were helped by a shock force of, uh, well, can't you guess? Nat Templar? Yes, a group of outlawed Templars. They are said to have turned the tide for the Scots. And it all ends at a church in the Isle of Britain at Bannockburn in a church. What are we waiting for? I'll call a cab. I can't go. Andre, you've been loads of help, but... What George is trying to say is that you shouldn't feel guilty. I was? We understand you've got commitments. Oh, listen, we have to hurry. Let's go, George. We'll see it through. Oh, and, uh, don't worry about us. Oh. Że panie, bardzo więc widzimy, że już mamy do ten bar. O, jak stanę. Ale tutaj tu zawsze w cenu sobie już teraz nechamy. Na przyjście. Oh, it must be done. Oh, oh. I guess so. And we must be nearly there. Somewhere. Out there in the dark. Is Scotland. We've come a long way together to get here. Yeah. 
Legtöbb itt volt volt Na, itt? Úgy most most találom az apróokkal, mert ők sem. Kívánom meg szóval jövőt, mi állni meg nézni klícs, jó pedig. Jelni meg klícs. Jelni meg klícs, na te. Ti van, hogy szépen elég a fosságban. Jó szépen elég a fosságban, hogy miért kell egy kancsak én azt. I've still got the clown's nose. So I see. You should start away, George. Next week, Jordi. Já s ním promluvím a až potom příště, protože dneska už to je zapíhnu. Doufám, že se mi to líbilo, pokud to ano, sechá like, komentář a adios. Děkuji, že jste tady se mnou byli. Před posledního partu, to je Broken Sword. To je Shadows of the Templars. Adios. Video jiné, kam pak bys odcházel? Můžeš se podívat tady na videa, který pro tebe YouTube vyhodnotí jako nejlepší. A no, tady hod na seznam videí z tady toho playlistu celkovýho. Až potom můžeš odejít. Bye bye.